Hi folks, Adrian here in Toon Marine, uh, located near the Great Sacandaga Lake in upstate New York. Today is April the 2nd, and I just wanted to do a real quick video um, about a Bravo 3 prop shaft seal leak. So when I winterized this guy's boat in the fall, he had a bunch of water in the lower unit oil. Um, first thing I do is make sure that the lower unit drain and vent seals are there not doubled up in good shape and if they are I'll pressure test it to try to find the leak I pressure tested it and so I, I put the the drain screw in put my pressure tester in up in the vent screw put about 10 pounds of pressure to it and immediately it was coming out of this big um, seal here just shooting out everywhere totally failed so it's real easy to replace that if you want to do it yourself and you're somewhat handy you may not have this fancy drive vice but you can you can make it happen um, the purpose of this video is to not get too in-depth or crazy just to give people that are pretty handy um, a quick idea how it works so if you want it's always a good idea to purchase a service manual. It's money well spent. This is um, number 39, and the part number for this manual is shown here. It's 90 8656 And in the Bravo 3 section, propeller shaft bearing carrier removal. It's very simple. Um, basically all you need is one special tool with the exception of the the prop nuts there's going to be um, a large prop nut here and then an even larger prop nut here and there is a special tool for it um, I think they're over here on the floor with the rest of the stuff yeah so there is there is a big big prop nut removal tool there but if you have a, a very large pipe wrench, you could use that. Just be careful, you don't make a complete mess out of it. But they're just nuts and they're regular um, threaded, so right hand threaded. So you just remove them going counterclockwise. But one thing to note is that this bearing carrier is not. That is um, reverse thread, so you need to turn it clockwise to loosen it. So you'll take this tool, which is bearing carrier removal tool number 91-805374-1. There are two styles. This is the non-dash one, where it's got that, um, it's the one behind the one I'm, I'm holding. It's got the kind of square pattern to it. This carrier is not, does not have that square pattern to it. It has these these little holes there so you take your tool and you fit it in those holes turn clockwise okay turn it clockwise now it's in there so I knew I had to do this job so I took some really good penetrating oil and I sprayed it around the seam and in those holes and let it soak for a few days and then you take, I, I took um, a large breaker bar and a cheater and a hammer. This is basically all you need right here. That's it. And I stood on the breaker bar with my foot down here and then tapped the tool like that. And that gets it going. And then you throw the cheater on there and it comes right out. So once you get that loosened up, it just comes right out. And you've got an O-ring here, right behind the threads, which is this O-ring here, 25-805331. And then you've got the seal here, 26-861. And I'm just going to get in there and pry that seal out of there. There is a special um, tool for it, but I don't have it. 
it's to me I'm not I mean there's a million tools you can buy from mercury and I've got a bunch there I've got some other stuff that's not so common out in the other building um, but if you had every one you'd have half a million dollars in tools so um, putting bearings in is kind of a our bearings seals in you might want to find it generally the the cat the books always say a suitable mandrel there are a lot of um, specific mandrels mercury does make um, but basically an old bearing race or just something carefully pop the seal in but getting it out I'm just gonna pry it out and pop the new one in I'm gonna make note of where it is right now at the the outer seal is just below flush of the case so I'm gonna make note of that so I can put the other one in the same um, sometimes where the seal rides on a any given shaft you'll see score lines and I can just feel that with my fingernail and so sometimes you may want to cheat that seal in a different position so it doesn't ride in those same holes I might want to I, instead of making that seal right where it is both below flush I want to make it just flush so that it has a nice fresh surface to ride on so I'm gonna decide there you decide on yours as well and um, that's it pop the thing back together fill it up with oil uh, pressure test it then fill it up with oil and it should be good so like I said I want to keep this video short this is all you need to do the job but I do highly recommend you get the service manual you might need it some other day too and um, otherwise you'd sit there thinking that well maybe the you know it comes out this bearing carrier comes out counterclockwise like normal but you gonna be beating on it beating on it and going nowhere making it worse so by having the manual, it you know you know it'll tell you stuff like that. So it's money well spent. You could probably go on eBay and get it for second hand or new or whatever for cheap. Same thing with these tools. You can go on eBay and get them second hand or even Chinese made cheap. I know they're on there. Uh, otherwise, that's it. Go to your local um, parts retailer. I was gonna say dealer, but I'm not a dealer. I um, I do have an account with Land and Sea, which is a Brunswick company. Which Mercury Marine is a Brunswick company, so they are they do sell me this stuff. I can get all OEM parts from them. Uh, so I was gonna say go see them, get your parts from them, just in case you do have any questions. They'll be more apt to answer them for you. Do not tell them you bought them online. They'll get mad and show you the door. I know I will. So that's it, folks. I don't mind you doing this stuff yourself. Just try to support your local guys, and, and they'll be more apt to help you. So that's it for now. Over and out. All right, so it would be nice to have that seal removal tool, but I don't have it, so I'm getting crafty. Uh, I've got it in here so that the seal is facing down all right and then i've got that style pry bar catching the lip of it in there right so that's just in there catching the lip and then i've propped it up on the bench to hold it and then i take another pry bar just something to get in there to beat on i set it down on top of that one because that's what we're trying to push down rest it on the edge hold it whack it and then that is succeeding in driving that bearing out you can see it's um protruding back so a few more whacks and i'll have it but i just wanted to make this little addition to the video in case you're wondering how the hell you're going to get it out because i usually use this seal removal tool but this and you get it in there and pry up on the inner lip of it, right? Well, I already broke it yanking on it and the thing didn't budge. There's a piece to the tool right there. And, um, yeah, so it didn't budge. So, uh, this is what I did. So I just wanted to throw that in there because I'm sure you guys can 
get crafty like this and do something similar. Just don't gouge the housing. If you do, you're buying yourself a new one. So be careful. That's that's a mama seal right there. That's pretty big. That's why it's coming out so hard. Um, and also, if this, like I said in this video, that this is relatively easy. Uh, if this was a saltwater drive, all bets are off. I won't even work on saltwater stuff. Forget it. I don't know how those boys do it, but I'm not. So this is all fresh water. There she is. And um, you can see there's some red Loctite in there. A lot of times they want you to put seals in with Loctite. On the outside edge, you just put a little red Loctite before you put it in. It helps keep it in place and, and seal it up. And then they want you to put um, special lube or, or grease or something on the inner lips of the seal. So there's your thread locker 271 wear used outside diameter of oil seal. There's your uh, bearing carrier seal driver, which we don't have. And they want you to use special lube 101 to lubricate in the inside of the seal. And that is it, folks. The bearing is in good shape. It appears to be. So, uh, I'll just clean this up in the parts washer. Replace that O-ring right there behind the threads. That seal back. And as mentioned, I'll throw it back together, pressure test it, and um, refill it. She's back together. Everything went well. New seal, new o-ring, and 10 pounds of pressure. It's a beautiful thing.